हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्टेप कैंपस सो दिस इज़ अ क्लास एट वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू लॉग इन अ फॉर्म ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक वन डेमो फॉर्म ओके एंड देन वी विल गोइंग टू ऑटोमेट दैट फॉर्म यूजिंग सेलिंग इन सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द लोकेटर्स ओके एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिंट अ टेक्सट ओके सो यूजिंग दैट कॉन्सेप्ट वी विल ऑटोमेट दिस पेज एंड वी विल ब्रसअप आवर प्रीवियस कॉन्सेप्ट सो फॉर दिस वन आई विल इन आई विल लेट यू नो लाइक विच ऑटोमेशन और विच वेबसाइट वी आर यूजिंग ओके सो फॉर दिस वन लाइक आई हैव चूज इन दिस राहुल सेट्टी एक एडमी प्रैक्टिस पेज ओके थैंक्स टू राहुल सेट्टी सर फॉर कीविंग दिस प्लेटफॉर्म वेर वी कैन यूज दिस थिंग्स टू लर्न एंड ब्रसअप आवर कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो या सो यू कैन सी यर सो दिस इज अ यूजर नेम दैट इज अ इनपुट टैग वी हैव अ पासवर्ड दिस ऑल्सो इनपुट ओके and these two buttons you can see so uh, as per your knowledge i will tell you now uh, this is a radio button okay so how to automate this radio button i will show you in the next lecture okay in the upcoming lecture i will show you but yeah uh, we have to uh, as of now like uh, the admin is selected by default so we will proceed with this one only okay so once we grab the concept of radio button then we will select the user and all so once you click this user now so you will see this pop up as well so this is also we have to accept and close okay so these things i will show you okay when we will cover this topic then we will go with these things but yeah in this in this um, lectures uh, we are going to select uh, admin only because this is by uh, automatic selected now you can see this is some drop down okay so this is called drop down uh, button we also we, we will also learn like how to select teacher and consultant but yeah as of now we didn't learn this concept so we will go with the student that is a by default and then this is a check box okay this one i will tell you how to select this one okay so we have to check this uh, check box and then we have to click this sign in button okay so for this uh, website if you say so we have username and password is there okay but let's see we are not using this username and password so what is happening so i will uh, let you know by typing manually suppose i am writing step campus anything you can add okay and password i am writing 1 2 3 4 5 6 for an example and then checking this box and clicking sign in so once you did this one so you will get an error message incorrect user password so we will grab these things okay we will grab this input okay we will grab the grab this input okay so yeah and after grabbing this input we will again uh, give the correct username and correct password to log in the form okay i will give you this one also how the page will look like when we give the correct username and password okay and the password is learning okay and say so it will land you on different page okay then it will land you in this page okay so let's see okay and then we will print this title also proto commerce title it should be proto commerce na so we will print this title as well okay so guys yeah let's get started as of now i'm just closing this page yeah so go to our editor you understand like what we have to do right so yeah this is our uh, editor and in the source we will create one class in java okay i'm telling you again in java if you write to if you write any new test case then we have to write in the form of class okay we have to give fill form fill form one i am giving one okay but when we learn all the radio button and static drop down concept na then we will give it form uh, fill form two and then we will uh, check other uh, uh, other uh, things as well other things means i will let you know which i already told you but yeah get these things so i will let you know in the meanwhile like what we have to do with this one okay so let's first create this one okay and not forget to click on public static word okay just click here and click on finish okay i will copy the code from the previous only i am not writing the code again if you are new then definitely you have to learn the previous lectures to entering into this video okay yeah yes till now this good yeah we have to use some other website okay we will use this website copy it okay yep yeah. and then test this website right okay now i'm telling you na like what we are going to learn in form 2 i will show you let me run first this thing so once you run so it will open this url okay yep yeah. till now i think it's clear for you so yeah so once we learn this concept na radio button and static drop down and this pop pop ups and all head and handling then we will make it a uh, form 2 okay and then we will complete all the steps okay meanwhile we will go with the by default okay so let's go there mm, 
okay we have to go to this one click on inspect control shift i okay and we have to click on this username okay so for this username we have id if we have yg then definitely we will use the id okay control f hash and the username okay so you can see only one element we have to see two things first one this element should highlight the text box and also we have to check like it should be unique okay so in this both condition are satisfying then we will choose this id okay we have to go to editor and we have to write a driver dot find element not elements okay find element by dot id okay and then inside this double quotes we have to pass the id without hash okay why we are using hash there now because we have to telling this url like we are using we are choosing id that's why we have put id here but in the code you already written id so no need to write hash okay just remember this for this is small small context but yeah okay now we don't uh, what we have to do in this one we have to give the value so to give value we have to write send keys okay send keys okay and inside in this send keys uh, first we will give the demo one uh, wrong uh, uh, user id okay so i am writing step campus okay again thread dot zip we have to use okay and again we will use okay go to the password okay uh, password so we have id but yeah this time we will use uh, uh, xpath okay so that we can learn the concept as well so for xpath we required the tag name that is input okay we have to give like slash slash not there <clears throat> okay yeah now we have to grab the password so control f so that box will open yeah slash slash input okay tag name at the rate attribute okay and this correspond value this is the x path so this time i am taking name at the rate name equals to password okay you can see it's highlighted password and so we have one of one this means it's, it's a unique also so we will take this one we will go there we will write like driver dot find okay it's driver dot find element okay by x path okay and inside this one we have to pass our x path in double quotes and what to do we have also again send some values so send keys and then we will sending value as 1234567 okay now again thread dot slip okay and again we have to go there it is already selected this is already selected now we have to think about these things okay yeah uh, for this one we will write css selector okay so for css uh, we not required this double slash only tag name a tag name is also uh, optional so you can give this tag name or you can directly go with the uh, at the red part okay as well yeah, inside this part attribute part so remove this at the red also and uh, we have to grab this button uh, okay now we have to give uh, or we have id also and name also let like, let go with id this time so id equals to terms okay click uh, here control f okay input and then we will give id and we will give this correspond value not this one correspond value will be terms i think yep terms yeah you can see and if you remove this id also no it will show you okay it will show you but yeah it's good to write the tag name so that you can analyze okay um, something wrong i have to write input yeah all good control a control c go there write a driver dot find element okay by dot css selector yes inside this double quotes we have to pass the css selector yeah this time we are not sending any value right you can see the website we are just clicking on this one okay so we have to give dot click what we are doing manually we have to analyze these things okay and give 2000 second as well 
okay and go there okay we'll giving this wrong details wrong details so when we click on this one then we have to compose it by okay we have to grab this text okay you can see this text gone in very less amount of time okay okay yeah so it's a alert okay this one so for this one i i will be writing xpath so for this one we have to write like uh, okay uh, we have to go to with this class okay we see this class is very large okay so i will tell you one more concept here we have to write slash slash div at the rate at the rate class equals to See, this is present but we are not seeing here okay we are not seeing the text here but yeah this element is present so see this class is very long okay but we don't don't need to write this whole thing so what we can do now we can like slash slash div at the rate uh, here we can write like contents contents okay contents and at the remove this at the rate give the class comma and remove these things okay contents class oh we have to write add the red class okay add the red class comma alert okay first we have to close the small bracket then we have to close the large bracket so you can see this one also giving highlighting the same uh, locator but yeah with the help of this contents we are not writing this whole whole class okay we are just writing this alert only so it will also populate in there just copy it yeah let's see like if the text is not there so how it is behaving okay we will see this thing we will see like how it will behave okay so we have to reach this out control space it will give you one function we have to pass a driver dot find element by xpath okay and inside this one we have to give the xpath locator okay okay yeah and then we have to give dot get text okay what happened there um, okay we have to give double quotes here okay not a single quotes just give double quotes okay i think all good yeah just save it and run it okay right click run it uh, java application yeah so what it will do it will give the wrong input and password username and password this time okay so you can see use and uh, this website is open step campus password will be sent okay and then it will check this one okay and then it will click sign in okay i think that's click there okay just uh, you can also identify like this step is successfully completed or not so copy this one go there control shift i and then press control f and give this value so we can see yeah this is selected input id terms okay 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 we didn't use this one that's why it is not clicking on sign in okay you can see the last is this checks box only okay we have to grab this one as well okay just click here okay sign in button i am using id my bad i forgot to give the locator for selecting okay yeah control copy this one okay after this one now we have to click on submit okay this is not populating driver dot find element by dot id okay and inside this one we have to give this value and then we have to dot click okay it will click on sign in button this is missing that's why it is not printing this message now 
save it and run it right click run as java application okay it will open the page it will give user name it will give password okay it will select this checkbox okay now it will click on sign in button yep you can see sign in is uh, selected yeah and this you uh, input message you can see okay so and they see why this is not showing here now because i already told you so this text is coming and then it is disabled in some time getting disabling some time that's why we are not getting this one okay okay so we will learn these things also like how to grab the uh, text which is going very fast uh, like which will disappear very fast okay so this will we will learn in different uh, one okay so no need to worry about this one yeah so this is a wrong one we have given okay now let's give the correct one okay now give the correct one so for correct one like uh, this is a username so i will replace the previous only this one and then i have to select the password as learning i will replace the same code okay learning and yeah this time this message won't be there so i am removing this one you know to remove just comment out okay double select to make it comment okay and then after clicking on this button now we will give some delay okay we will give some pause let's example four second and then we will uh, check the title okay get title okay and you have to give in sys out so that you can see this in the console okay yeah you can see this message in the console okay save it now run it so it this time it will check a uh, correct user id and password and then it will perform an action okay so running any application just right click on the class run a java application yeah this time it will give username password okay it will uh, select this checkbox button and button and then it will click on okay so oh incorrect what is incorrect okay maybe the password is incorrect or not an issue what we will do we will type rahul okay see not password why this is error na so if you see here so rahul said the academy and then also we have some space that is not a correct okay so we have to look into this as well we have to remove the spaces now run it this time definitely it will pass okay while well, using like uh, i can miss uh, i am also missing these things but yeah when trying to uh, fetch all this detail make sure like uh, you won't miss these things because this will also leads to a uh, fail art test okay yeah now it will it will successfully pass okay it will click on sign in button and we have given some pause yeah and then it will take this proto commerce as a title yes you can see this title so yeah i hope you understand like what we are going to do so just start learning these things okay grab this concept okay it will be very helpful while we are doing a uh, hands on for the wings one okay you have to know about these things so yeah uh, in this video that's all guys so we'll see you in the next lecture we will learn about some other aspect as well so yeah okay thank you bye